if you are a salesforce developer and appearing for an interview these questions can be really helpful to you so the first question is what is the use of at the rate is test parallel equals to true now this annotation basically is used to indicate that test classes that can run in parallel and aren't restricted by the default limit basically this makes the execution of your test class much more efficient because more test class can run in parallel in simple words if you have four test classes and you are running them at the same time first the first test class gets executed and the second and then third and so on but what if you want to run all of them in parallel you can do it using following annotation so this is what this annotation is used for let's move on to the next question that why can't we monitor future apex but we can monitor the batch apex while both of them are asynchronous apex right now if you remember if you write a batch class in order to write the or in order to run your batch class we use database dot execute batch right and we provide the batch uh, object and the size of the scope right basically we provide these things now when we provide these things this batch class or the execute fa batch function is going to return as the job id right what it is going to do is it's going to return as the job id now using this job id we can go to the asynchronous a async apex job object and we can query about the statuses of the job that is executed and we can monitor it further on the other hand if you go to the future apex usually the future apex are static void and my future method let's say my future method and it should have a primitive parameter so if you closely monitor this method it's void right it's not going to return anything so even if i run this method it's not going to return me anything not even the job id so it's just going to do the execution but not going to return me anything at all so hence as it does not return me anything at all i won't be even able to get the job id right and as i don't have the job id i won't be able to monitor it at all basically it's saying that future method returns nothing that's the reason why we can't we can't go to the async apex to find out what the status of the job is but on the other hand execute batch we can get the job id and go to the async apex to get the status of your job let's move on to the next question does test class execute the asynchronous code asynchronously so basically let's say you have a future apex or you have a batch class both of them okay let's say you have future apex and the batch class now you have to write the test classes for it so for that purpose what we usually do is inside test.start test and test.stop test we call the batch classes okay or the future apex we call them now what test class does is it will in as soon as the test.start test starts what it will do it will cover all the asynchronous apex okay it will start cover it will start uh, taking okay it will start uh, uh, like uh, taking in all the asynchronous apex and as soon as it reaches test.stop test it will it will collect all of them and it will execute them one uh, one at a go like for an example all of them will be executed but all of them will be executed synchronously not asynchronously so basically what test dot start test stop test does to this future apex is it will collect all of them and then finally after test dot stop test it will going it is going to go ahead and execute them synchronously so in simple terms even if you have a future apex in test class it's going to execute them synchronously so this was all about the interview questions that I have discussed in the previous shot. If you found this video helpful, I request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel.